Luke's parables are different from the parables of Matthew and Mark. Luke shares some of the parables of Matthew and Mark, but Luke has lots of parables that we find only in Luke. A good cluster of those I like to call crisis parables. And what I mean by that is that a character starts off in the story, it's often described a certain man or a certain rich man, just somebody, and they're comfortable. Things are fine when the parable begins. But then something happens and they're forced into a moment of crisis. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, right? A man, a certain man, is going down the road, but he gets attacked by robbers. In the parable of the prodigal, this young man is doing just fine, but when he sets out on his own, he winds up destitute and hungry. He's not the only one with the crisis, because when the parable ends, his father and his older brother are in a crisis that wasn't present when the story started. They haven't reconciled to each other. In the parable of the rich man and Lazarus, the rich man is enjoying his parties, just as the rich man is in the parable of the rich fool in Luke chapter 12. What creates the crisis for them isn't something that happens in this life, it's death. Luke seems to have an interest in bringing readers in to think about their lives, that if I think I'm comfortable, secure or better than others, maybe in the world of Jesus that assumption of my security needs to be re-examined.